In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the mirror command in the Autodesk Inventor assembly environment. So here we've got a part uh, which has got a couple different components that I've put in over here. And then I've got the front plate over here and as well as I've got to put a black back plate over here. So what I actually need to do is I could drag this in and then constrain it on this side over here or I could mirror it. So I mean if I had to drag it in, you know, drag it and drop it in, I could say right, constrain, uh, select from that and that. Okay, it's constrained it. Oopsie, no, let's not do that. Constraint. Uh, I actually wanted to do insert constraint. Okay, so some that and that. Okay, and then you can see over here with the, I can still drag this around and I want both those holes to be in line with each other. So then I can do my constraint and select the two top over there. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way would be to use the mirror command. And mirror command would then go and take that component and mirror it across a work plane lying through the center of this tube over here. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to just create a work plane running through the center there. So I'm going to just do that quickly. So I select that surface and select the surface on the other end. And it should put a work plane smack bang through the middle. Now if I had done this correctly, I you can see over there, I was actually a little bit silly doing that work plane over there. I've created this, this cylinder around the midpoint or the origin. So I actually don't need that work plane. So if I'm just going to go return over here, I'm actually going to go and, okay, let's take the visibility off. And I'm going to use the origin work planes because it's a much safer and more stable way of modeling when you, you're using a 3D CAD. So let's go to the mirror command. So go to the mirror, ask me for my components. I'm going to select that one over there. And you can see over here that it's asking for, um, oops, it, it's asking for uh, either do you want it to be a copy or do you want to be, or you don't want to mirror it or do you want it to be, what is this one again? Um, it's a copy or it reuses it, reuses it or it's a, it's a mirrored copy. Okay, you can also mirror relationships and you can ground the new components as well. So I can say, you know, gr ground this on the other side. So once that's done, I can select my mirror planes. Now these are the mirror planes, this Y, Z, X, Z, and X, Y plane is actually mirroring it, is taking the origin um, work planes from my assembly, which I don't really want. So I'm going to go to mirror plane over here. I've got my cylinder head cover front and I'm going to my origin over here and let's go see where that is okay so it's not the cylinder head cover so my apologies cylinder body here we go here we go origin and we want that one over there okay so you can see there it's mirrored across over there now what we can do is do we want it to be the I just want to reuse it because it's going to be the same components so in my bill of, mat bill of materials it's going to be cylinder head cover front two Click on next, it brings up this dialog box over here. You'll see over here now that it says right the source display name, the source file name, display name, file name, location, and status. Okay, so it's not creating anything new. Okay, if I return the selection over here and I change that to um, to mirror or make a copy, you'll see that it says okay, right, it's actually going to be. Um, the display name is going to be cylinder head cover front mirror. So it's taking it from this file name underscore mirror. So I've actually put a, a, a suffix on it and it'll just tell me what I'm copying and what it's going to copy to. Okay, so I don't want that. I actually want it to be a reuse the object and I click on OK. And there we go. So there we go. It is grounded as well and it's in the same direction and you'll see there cylinder head cover front 2 instance 2 over there so with with the the mirror command over here as you could have seen um, there's two options you've got over here you can either reuse it so let's just actually do that over here now let's see what the difference is I'm just going to go and delete that go to my mirror command uh, select my components uh, the mirror plane is going to be in the cylinder body over here okay and I'm going to reuse, not reuse it, I'm going to make a copy of it. So you can see there, it's actually putting it, so maybe I, I want this to be the back. Okay. Okay, so the back, click on OK, 
and there we go so cylinder head cover back now I go to my bill of materials you'll see there that it's got um, part number okay cylinder head cover front mirror that's because of the component that I did over there and then I should have the cylinder head front so where is okay that's the over here. so you can see uh, the part number of my cylinder head cover front is actually TU002 the file name or and description is cylinder head cover front cylinder cover front over here so if I wanted to um, you know go and change this semi two zero zero two and let's make this TU-009 okay there we go so I've changed it it will have changed inside my components over here as well and I'm I'm done mirroring and that my um, my bill of materials looks correct over here as well if I had done it the other way and just made a copy then there would have been two TU-002 so it would have been quantity two so if I just go back here let's see if I can get back to that Okay, there's my cylinder head cover front. If I go to my eye properties and I go to my part number, you'll see the TU002. Go to my bill of materials and there you'll see the TU002 and quantity of two. Okay, so there we go. You can see in your mirror, you can either mirror the component and reuse it, and update your bill of materials to quantity of two, or you can mirror it and make it a new part and it'll have two different components. Thanks very much for watching.